Hello. Please give me one moment. We are here wanting to share. Tracy is eager to share. We are wanting to create these segments to allow a space for ones to feel perhaps better than they are feeling this day. And if you've come along this segment, if you, it's found its way to you, if you will, hmm, and you are feeling up and excited, ah, it is of such beauty. And if you found this segment and you're not feeling as mm, joyful as you would want to, isn't it grand and wonderful? Hmm. There are love songs that are written, and when they are written, it feels as though that the, the love song was written when two are in love. They have this brilliant exchange of falling in love, and it becomes their song. And the irony to that the same song could be perceived to another as a song that is listened to when there is a separation, an ending of a relationship. The same words can, oh, <laughs> have different meanings, if you will. Have different meanings. So these segments are like that. When ones are, oh, just feeling so good. There is such grand value. And if ones are not feeling as good as they wish to be, there is such grand value. Same words. Mm. Here to soothe, here to enhance. And it is like that. The ones falling in love listen to the song. It just enhances how they feel about their experience. And if one listens to the song, it will soothe their heart at times of separation same song. And so we are wanting to enhance or to soothe. <laughs> so you get to choose. And perhaps you'll see this segment when you're feeling good and not so good and the words will feel mm, different each time. So with that, Tracy channels what is known to her as the grand universe. We are a collective consciousness. We are source energy. Tracy channels um, to provide a space to share insights and wisdom. So, ones will say, what is channeling? What are you doing? Where did you go? Where's your voice? Hello, are you in there? And she finds it all very fascinating how it all works. She couldn't explain to someone how it truly works. She'll say, how do you move my hands? How do you make all these facial expressions? How did I receive such goodness, she'll say. And knowing she did, she just wants to share every chance she gets. So here we are, sharing. Sharing topics that we want to soothe and we want to enhance. We do want to share, we almost said visit, but we want to share consciousness, meaning the levels of consciousness. We often talk about the layers that cover up one's own inner brilliance, one, one's own inner light. Experiences covers the layers. And with that, it also, we don't want to say covers consciousness. It's not quite the same. Consciousness. We have talked about the prevention of cruelty to animals and people. And we talk about the levels of consciousness. Tracy will say, I'm doing a fundraiser to prevent cruelty to animals. And in the same afternoon, there were ones who were cruel to animals. How does it work? Why is it that way? 
And we want to say, it isn't about balance. It isn't. Consciousness comes from knowing one's truest self underneath the layers. Because if one would go in search underneath the layers of human experience, there is a love so grand. It is consciousness, if you will. One would never hurt another. One would never condemn another. One would never be cruel to another. We're not kidding. So what would take place in one, the layers, that one would be cruel to an animal and one would not? One is cruel, one wants to heal. One is inflicting pain, one is creating healing. How does it work? And why is it like that? It is consciousness. Tracy is so bothered this day, and we are going to use it. She doesn't know the next word coming. She does not. She does not ask what the topics are going to be because she doesn't want to sort of, she moves right out of the way to allow the words to come. And so often we use her as an example, if you will. And she is fine with it. Some people around her will say, well, they don't have any trouble, uh, you know, talking about your challenges. Mm. This day, Tracy has witnessed, if you will, a video. Came across on Facebook. She wasn't on Facebook for a very long time. And it is experiences like this that make her... You want to say, so upset, truly upset, brings tears to her eyes. And she's understanding that to some, they're not upset at all, just sort of like the song, same song. Ones are celebrating, ones are healing. This topic is just that. And Tracy's getting really nervous because she wanted to say something. She wanted to make a comment on Facebook, a, a kind comment, but nonetheless, it was coming from a place of not truly understanding why one would do what they do. So again, it's a touchy topic and it is not a condemnation and it is not a praise. It is just a topic, and it is just what it is. So many different opinions about it. So we're not saying choose an opinion, have an opinion, one is right, one is wrong. Not at all. The video was about a man, he was hunting, deer season. And he has his gear on, if you will. And he has his rifle, what Tracy would perceive as a rifle, a gun in his hand. And a beautiful, and we do say beautiful, because if one truly looks, they can see the beauty in all things of Mother Earth. But this magnificent deer walks up to the gentleman with the gun. And he nudges his head against him. And the man is truly taken back, but enough to take a video of it. So he's speaking to the deer. And he's saying, what are you doing, you crazy deer? What are you doing? And this deer is rubbing his head up against his body. And Tracy couldn't truly watch the ending of it. She did, sort of fast-forwarded. And she had it, it, it was mute. It, it, she didn't have the volume on. And she thought, I wonder what this man is saying. So that's when she clicked the volume and she heard him speaking to the deer in sort of a 
condemning way. What are you doing, you foolish dear? Uh, there was a lot of other words. We won't have foul language on this segment. But he is speaking with the deer and the whole time the deer is nudging him. The whole time the deer is actually rubbing his head up against his hand that is holding the gun. And Tracy thinks to herself, what was that deer doing? What was the powerful exchange? And she wanted to watch and she was so terrified the man was going to shoot the deer. The deer was not causing harm to, to him at all. And she watched and she thought, okay, he's going to let him go. He's going to let him be free. And then she heard his voice, heard the words. I'm going to have to shoot him. And of course, she stopped the video. She has pondered this viewing, who she is very sorry that she saw in the first place. And she is wondering what the deer was doing. And then she was wondering, pondering, contemplating why one would shoot one after that exchange. Tracy had all kinds of mm, feelings towards it. And she thought, if that deer be, is shot in the end, after allowing space to be one with a human, if you will, what does it say about mankind? Now, ones will see that, again, like the song, Ones will see that and say, well, of course he shot it. That's why he was out. He's a hunter. He's going to shoot it. It doesn't matter what the deer was doing. He's going to shoot it. Hunters hunt. Hunters kill. That is why they are there. For whatever reason, they're there. There are different reasons. We don't even want to get into that. It's not. This dialogue is not about hunting. And it's not about the hunter. What this dialogue is about is consciousness. Consciousness. Because Tracy had to remind herself under those layers, she had to remind herself that not all are conscious of that exchange. And she cannot imagine that this magnificent deer looked into the eyes of another was brave enough to convey a message. What do you think the message would be? The man was standing with a gun that was going to end the life. And the deer took the time to go and nudge, to show compassion, to show kindness, to show love. Do you see where we are going with this? Tracy is very emotional because she cannot understand what happened. Why did he just not let that one go after such a brilliant exchange of, of compassion, kindness, and love? And the man was condemning, oh, you stupid animal, what are you doing? We're, we're not using the exact language because there was a lot of, um, we'll say, bad language. But condemning the animal. And Tracy thought to herself, if you only understood the brilliance of the exchange. So caught up in the world, did not take the time to even listen to the message the deer was bringing. Why would a deer do that? And the answer is consciousness. The deer was more conscious of the man 
Think about it. The deer was conveying the peace. The deer was conveying the compassion and the kindness to the one holding the gun. That is forgiveness. That is the divine's way of showing one. Now, we know this could, we can be very condemned about what we have just shared. And it was not, again, it was not a condemnation towards the man. It was not a condemnation towards hunting. It is an awareness to be conscious enough to see beyond what is shown. If the man took the time, really took the time to see the gift presented, the deer saying, I will love you anyway. I will show you compassion anyway. And I will be kind anyway. And if you're standing with a camera and you're going to share this in your victory of killing me, I would want the message to be this. Compassion and kindness is higher consciousness. And you are forgiven. And you are forgiven. Tracy is thinking, I don't even know if I want to post this. She wants to understand how it works. She wants to understand what would allow the space for the man to pull the trigger after such a loving exchange, not on his part. And there may be a day where that man, unknown to Tracy, she has no idea who it is, it doesn't, it's not the importance. Many are out doing the same thing. And if it's not a deer, it's a spouse, or their children, or their co-workers. Consciousness. Don't ever underestimate how the universe converses with you. How the universe converses with you. And do you not think the deer was conversing and sharing the most powerful message the deer could bring? And we want to share this powerful message because the deer brought a powerful message. compassion, kindness, love, higher consciousness. Perceive these words in the way you wish to. But before there is condemnation, ponder the message. And before the trigger was pulled, the message should have been pondered. There's great love for you.